Yes. Ready? Okay. Hi. Yes. Okay. okay. At this time, I'd like to call the Committee of the Whole for November 24, 2014, to order. Clerk, you call the roll. Mr. Riker. Here. Mr. Hupke. Here. Mr. Wicker. Here. Mr. Hack. Here. Mr. Callahan. Mr. Forsythe. Here. Fellow trustees, in your packet, you had the minutes from the October 27, 2014 Committee of the Whole. If there's any uh, corrections or questions, if not, I will entertain a motion to approve the minutes. I make a motion we approve the minutes. Motion by Trustee Hubbard. No, second. Second by Trustee Wicker. Clerk, you please call the roll. Mr. Hupke? Yes. Mr. Wicker? Yes. Mr. Hank? <clears throat> Present. Uh, Mr. Reckie? Yes. Mr. Forsyth? Yes. The next on the agenda is the public comment regarding the village participation in the Park District Paving Project. Trustees, if you recall, the last meeting we had talked about this a little bit, and it was um, a consensus to leave this to the open meeting to give the public any kind of chance that they wanted to, to discuss um, your thoughts, questions, or concerns about this. Um, being that there are no people from the public here at this time, I will open the floor to the trustees and give them a couple minutes to see if they filter in. I have a comment. I uh, have had several people contact me, and all of the comments have been negative. None of them are in support of. Uh, giving any money, helping out the park district, because they feel that this has been done in the past. If we keep doing it, we're going to be an enablers, and we're going to keep on continuing to do it, and we're going to be taken away from other things that are needed for the village that they've already paid taxes on. Um, I did ask for the public to show here, um, and nobody has shown. Uh, this is a forum for the public to come and speak. And if they don't come and speak, then can't be heard other than contacting us, which I've had approximately 22 people. That's it. Anybody else? have a um, do we have a um, besides the uh, 22 that Mr. Huckey Trustee Huckey referred to um, is this something the village would like to pursue or or not regardless of what the um, or not regardless, but uh, not sure what you know what scope would we be looking at as far as participating, but should we continue to look down this road or are we going to end it here? Could I ask a question? Twenty two people that contacted you, was it that they were against the village footing the bill for the yes. whole thing? Yes. What about if it was like a loan or something? Would they feel differently It was mixed. Then? It was mixed. And I, my comment was come to the meeting. I, I stated it before. For me, it's important. I know it kind of goes against the other projects we've got going on. Um, you know, I'm kind of bias in situation. I've got, you know, kids part of the school and part of the park program. Um, so it's important to to me as a parent and as a resident in town. But again, I don't know, you know, what avenue we go and how far we, you know, how much we participate and 
you know. We're saying that we're not going to be able to do much with this now anyway. Um, uh, my my suggestion would be that we table it and as it uh, bring it bring it up as it goes each meeting. I guess. Um, my only concern with that is the it requires the involvement of the other the other entities, and so I, I'd much rather have know whether. For example, the school is committed or not committed, just one or the other. And I'm sure that their their approach to this will also depend on what our approach to this is. And was the school at one time willing to take over that uh, that road, that property? At one time they were willing, they offered to take over that road? From my understanding, the school offered to pave it if they retain ownership of Blue Devil Drive. That was not a... Um, an agreement that the park wanted to get into. Is there any reason why they didn't want to agree to that? Um, that you may know of? Or? I don't have an official answer to that, no. I, I do think one concern with that, not speaking on behalf of anyone else, but just something that I think of, is that if the school takes complete ownership of that, it could lead to some future disputes or ramifications about entry to the park because it would not be a public right-of-way. It's, it's school property at that point. And so there could be disputes with respect to entering the park because the only way to reach the, the park property right now is through, the, is through Blue Devil Drive. And <clears throat> if there were to be a disagreement between the school and the park, you theoretically could access the park through West Street if they were to, to change the signage in the direction of traffic. If the school were to take over that entire drive, then theoretically it could, could bar access to the, to the park as far as parking lots goes. But realistically speaking, do you think they'd actually do that? No. One of their concerns was that they, you know, they talked about doing an intergovernmental agreement and stating that in there, you know, like a 99-year lease or, you know, some kind of verbiage that stated that they would have access to it. And the park stance on it at the time was, well, we had an agreement and in our opinion, you're not meeting the agreement now. So what's to say you'll meet that agreement in the future? So that's where they kind of they kind of stopped on that. They talked about redoing property lines in exchange for Blue Level Drive. And at that point, the school wasn't interested in that. They just said flat out that we'll take Blue Level Drive and we'll pay for it. And that was what they were offering. Now, we talked to them. They didn't give us a. They didn't give us a definite. Um, they would have to go back to their board, but they were confident that it would be received well. Um, as far as the school district going in 50-50, if the village could step up. And, and, but and again, that's not confirmed. Have either you or Trustee Callahan spoke with them about the possibilities of a loan? We did talk about a loan a little bit. Our concerns were that. Um, you know, will they have it in the future? Um, and if they don't, you know, what are the, you know, they're, they're strapped, you know, with those two buildings that they have now, they're, what's coming in and what's going out, it's a shoestring. Um, but that was before, too, that we learned that you can do the 20-year loan. You know, we were thinking more few years, you know, four, four years tops with the 20-year loan, that, that's a whole different animal. Uh, but again, we didn't want to approach them with that if we weren't comfortable as a board talking to them about that. Are they thinking of trying to sell some of those buildings? They want to get their audit done first. Um, they made it pretty clear that uh, they don't have the finances to finish the buildings. Um, even if they did have the finances to finish the buildings, they're pretty sure they don't have the manpower or the finances to hire people to run the buildings. But they have, a, they have a lot of questions that they have to have answered as far as the bonds and if they can sell and how to sell and stuff like that that they have to figure out. My impression was there's a desire to sell, but there's going to be limitations on where the proceeds can be applied. It, it'll likely have to be used for bond debt, so the, the, any proceeds that there may be will be used to pay down pre-existing debt. And these decisions to buy these buildings, was this from a previous board? or the present board that's on there now, if you know. 
And I think it's I think there may be one or two existing board members on the current board that were on the board that made that decision. I apologize if it was already discussed, but with the residents that expressed concern, was there any reasoning provided that you can share? Because of the safety and um, they feel that the taxes that are already paid into the school district, I'm sorry, the park district, um, should suffice what they were supposed to be doing if they had not bought these buildings. Um, there's no checks and balances in place then. I don't know what there is now. And it's going to be taken away from something that, from what one person had said, take away from something we've already paid for as residents to, for the village and to pay more into the park, the park district. And they're just not happy about that. Okay. So it, it pretty much is, for the most part, which I don't understand, a financial concerns. Yes. It's, yeah. it's not, not anything beyond that. Right. I, I don't think as a village it's our obligation to do it, but I think as as an entity that has the ability to remedy it, that, that's where it becomes our obligation. We're, I don't want to get in the business of helping the park or any other entities long term, but I think that this is a, a unique circumstance and whether it's outright paying for it or whether it's giving a loan, that I don't really have much of a preference on one way or another, but if we don't do something that driveway will remain the way it is for a very long time. Well, it won't remain the way it is. It'll 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 deteriorate further. And that, that's, that's not going to work. Anybody else? I'm still not dead against it. I just, I still think we need to hold them liable whether I, I think we need to look into the loan I mean as long as we get something back out of it they have to come and put on the table some kind of proposal to us they haven't done that and with the school board and everybody else so you know you, there's nothing wrong with keep negotiating with you guys with them but uh, they have to have skin in the game you just can't have them I mean they're 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 a separate entity They've got to float a bond issue like we do, like the school district, like the fire district, but they're the ones got to come to the table here. For the next meeting, can we find out information on um, the longevity requirements and stuff like that for a loan if we look into that avenue and how we proceed with that? You mean like the, the maximum length of the loan? Maximum, yeah, length. Um, I don't know how the interest and stuff like that works on something like that. Well, I think I, I will get a definitive answer, okay. but it would be done through an IGA, and the longest you can do an IGA is 20 years. Okay. And is that current interest rates, or is it negotiable? What, what's that's whatever you put in it. It, it can be it can be agreed to to be whatever we. I believe okay. there's some latitude. Yes. And if they sell any building they, and they pay down some of their bond issues, that's, that's their situation. Right. But they haven't put some better standing to do what they have to do. Oh, no yeah. more than what we have to do. Oh, absolutely. You know, I mean, it's that simple. I would like to, I, I would hope that they have plans of, of getting rid of those buildings. I mean, that I, would, I would certainly hope so. But I, I can't speak for them. One of the things that they had talked about us and they're looking into too is they have the ability, and again, this is going to be ended up being a referendum. So, I, you know, it's the question whether the town will support it or not and uh, vote on it for them. But uh, they have the ability to add a tax or an extra percentage. I think they said for road improvements on their property. Um, so that's something they're going to look into. They, they kept on saying it was very small, but they didn't have numbers for us. Um, but one of the things I told them was that regardless of how we help them, if we help them, they need to at least put that on the ballot 
you know, whether people will vote for it or not, you know, if they got the avenue to do that, they need to do it. So I believe that there's a consensus then that we're going to table this to the next meeting. Um, we'll get more information on the requirements uh, for the loan. And uh, does that seem to be an avenue that we want to go if there's any involvement at all from us? More of a loan type thing. <coughs> Just to this point of clarification, when we say the next meeting, do we need the next board meeting or the next committee of the whole meeting? We'll see the next board meeting. I would think we'd have to wait to see what the final findings are. Trustees, any more other comments on that topic before we move on? Did they ever come up with a, the final price on what it was actually going to cost? Um, they do. I think we had it part of our school, right? It was like 63000 or 60000 Well, I think they extrapolated some of the line items off of this one okay. because it wasn't part of the actual bill. Okay. But I think they extrapolated some of what the school and was carrying the school over. I know what they, they said before, we, we approached them to do all the paving projects as a combined thing, that they uh, had an estimate last year at 43000 But they weren't sure exactly what that, you know, their paperwork there is very uh, sketchy. So they weren't sure exactly what that covered, you know, how far, how much. So when mm -hmm. the way not, Trustee Callahan and I were talking to them, we were pretty much guessing anywhere between 43 and, 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 and 60 being the high. Which, you know, we That's what they have to do with homework. When they're going to make a proposal, they got to put some numbers on the table that are factual. Can't can't deal this way. Any other comments, trustees? Next on the agenda is the public comment that there is no public um, we'll go to general discussion anything besides uh, the paving project or agenda items that you guys wish to bring up yeah don't forget Saturday Saturday's uh, shop to small business day oh yes I saw in the vedette that uh, there was a picture of uh, the mayor with the red shirts from the Legion, and it, it seemed to be somewhat uh, successful for their for their program that they had there. Just starting, we don't know yet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just something she's trying to do. Anything else, trustees? Hearing none, I'll entertain a, mo a motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. Motion by Trustee Hupke, second by Trustee Hack. Mr. Hupke? Yes. Mr. Hack? Yes. Mr. Callahan? Yes. Mr. Wicker? Yes. Mr. Reichert? Yes. And Mr. Forsyth? Yes.